Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create video inside a text. So it looks like the there's some video moving inside text. This is also called a track mat effect. Now you can also do this with kind of a still image. But let's see an example of what this looks like. So let me go into slideshow mode and we will see what it looks like. So this is an example here of this big data. You can see that there's a bunch of numbers. It looks like it's moving around and this video is going to loop. So if you do this in a presentation, it looks pretty dramatic. You know, you've got these moving uh, images or this moving video within this letter. Now, the next example is basically still image, but it's also kind of dramatic because we have the letter moon and you see a moon here. And so we've got a still image of a scenery that makes it look kind of pretty. So let's see how we would go about doing this. Let me go ahead and press the escape key to get out of this. And before I go into doing it, there's some considerations you have to think about. So track mat is a term that's kind of more defined when you're working with uh, uh, video editing or image editing. Uh, not something that you probably see a lot in, in PowerPoint, but it, it, we'll see how we can kind of utilize this feature in, in PowerPoint with a hack. Now it could be either a video or an image inside the text that gives it that dramatic effect. Usually to make it kind of look uh, a little more dramatic, uh, you, it's probably better to use all caps. Um, you, you don't have to use all caps, but it makes it look a bit more dramatic. And also having the font be one of the bold fonts. And so if you can select one of the fonts that are bold, it probably helps to give it a little bit more flair. So let's go about seeing how we would create something like this. Let me go ahead and find a blank slide here. And I'm going to create, a, the first one I'm going to create is a video one. So let's think about a video one here. And I've already got a video lined up. Uh, usually, if you've got PowerPoint, you probably want to get some video that will work in PowerPoint. Uh, usually, with Windows type, it's probably a Windows media file, or M WMV file. Uh, I've had some problems with MP4 files where you have to download um, uh, Apple QuickTime. But uh, as long as you've got something that is, is compatible in Windows environment, it should suit you just fine. So let me go ahead and start with creating the, the letter first. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a rectangle box on the drawing objects. So I can either click here or go under insert and under the illustrations group under the shapes. We're just going to in click this. Now I'm going to draw it out. Let me draw it out to a little bit big enough so it'll fit within here. Whoops. Let me try that again. Let me go ahead and draw this out. So it fits in here. So now we've got that, and it kind of go defaults to this blue fill with a blue outline. Don't worry about that right now. We're going to change that later on. Now I'm going to type a letter, and I've already got in, a video in mind. So I'm, I think the video is just a bunch of bubbles. So I'm going to do bubbles, and then we need to increase the font size of this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to double click that, or I can right click and just have this mini toolbar I can change it and, and usually there's a couple fonts that we can use Arial Black is a good one because it's already kind of big and it's already bold so I select that one also want to increase the font size I right click that and just increase it pretty big here let's see I can probably go up a little bit more if you, you don't find this mini toolbar you can actually just go back into the home button and under the font group you'll find it. let me go and double click this and let's see, maybe a little bit bigger. Nope, too big. Let me just reduce it back to size. And once you have that selected, you see it's selected already. I'm going to go into the Drawing Tools context, Contextual uh, Ribbon or Tab and click Format. And I'm going to need to have the text outline. I'm going to have that a white color and also increase the weight. So it's going to be three point is usually pretty good. You won't see that here until I enter some text fill. And the reason why I'm entering the text fill is it's easier to uh, perform the transparency effect later on or take out the, um, the color. So I'm just going to get some vivid color here. I'm going to just get a green here. And now since I've added that green, you see the, the outline, right? So also, I do not need this color. I want to make this color the same as my background color, which is black. So since it's selected already, I go into shape fill and just select black. And I don't need this blue outline, so I'm going to go ahead and go under the shape outline and click no outline. So now we've noticed that we still have this here, and what we need to do now is to convert this into an image. Right now it's a text box object with letters in it. We have to convert this into an image. So what I'm going to do is the image is selected, and I'm going to do a control X to cut, 
and now it's disappeared but I'm gonna paste it back in as an image so I can right click or go under paste and paste as, as a picture or I can just right click here and paste as a picture now this is a picture now so you can't edit this text anymore but what I want to do now is I want to edit this picture I want to get rid of this green color I want to make that transparent so I'll, it's selected now the picture tools contextual menu shows up now since it's a picture and not a square object anymore not a rectangle object so I'm going to format and under the adjust group click on color and right here in the bottom set transparent color go ahead and click on that and I want to set this color green so it's going to go ahead and when I click this it's going to see anything that's green and it's going to make it transparent basically delete it so whatever is in the background will show through so I click on that and so now you see that it shows through the black so if I move this text out here you'll see that now the gray shows through let me go ahead and control Z to undo that to move it back here so now that is finished what I want to do now I've, I'm already done with the creation of the text so what I want to do right now is I want to insert a video so I'm going to go under, under the insert tab go under the media group click video and video from file now I have a video already that's called bubbles I'm going to go ahead and click on that and right now it's going to put it in and it's kind of over the top now the video is inserted and you see it's got a little player here if I click play here you'll see it start to to move but I need to adjust this video to kind of fit within the other layer the other the image so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna send this to the back right now and I can kinda of see how much room I have to work with I can either decrease the size of the video here with these handles or I can increase the size of here of the uh, this bubbles image what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna decrease the size of the video here I'm gonna move that down a little bit maybe down here and then this one I'm gonna move over here so it kinda of fits within the bubbles image um, background here so I'm gonna click outside and see how that looks let me kinda of move this a little bit so that particular border kinda of makes it look a little bit better whoops that looks okay I think the bubbles need to move a little bit inward as long as you have the bubbles behind excuse me the bubbles video the video behind the image it should look fine and uh, let me go adjust this a little bit more let's see let me, I'm gonna right click and bring this back send this to the back and adjust this video a little bit so I'm gonna push this in a little bit so it will fit within the bubbles image Now I'm gonna right click and send this back and you can see now it kinda of fits in nicely let me go ahead and play it go into slideshow view oh one more thing what I need to do is if this the video will play and then it'll stop so what I need to do is we need to set that to loop so let me click on the player here my video plays shows up click on playback and I wanna have it start automatically once I put it in the slideshow view and I want to I also wanna have it loop until it stops so it will just keep looping so now if I put it into the slideshow view you can see now that we've got our bubbles and it just keeps going and going so you can just have this sitting up on your presentation and it just looks kind of like a vivid type of an image or basically a it almost looks like it's video running of course it is but it's video behind uh, this particular uh, text or this image so let me go ahead and escape and get out of that that's how you create the animation part of it let me go press escape again now what if we just wanted to add something that's a still image basically it's the same concept and I'm, I have an image already I'm gonna go ahead and do this a little bit more quicker since I'm in the home ribbon I can go into the drawing group and just enter a box like I did before I'll draw out this box and the image that I have is a desert so I'm just gonna go ahead and type desert d-e-s-e-r-t and double click that and increase this increase the uh, change the font and then increase the size let me increase the size to make it a little bit bigger here a little bit bigger and then uh, let me go ahead and go into format and change the text outline to white and then the weight to three and then the text fill let me change it to green so now we've got that there and I also need to change the shape fill and the shape outline so shape fill that's gonna be black to match the black here and I do not want an outline so I'm gonna click that and go no outline and so now I've I've got the formatting done and I want to turn this particular object into a image now so I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to control X to cut and then I'm going to right click and then paste it as a picture. And after that's done, I need to set the transparency here. So now I've got my picture tools here. I go to format, click on the in the adjust group, click color and then set transparent color and green this color. I'm going to pick this color as my transparent color and now the black will show through. Now that part is done. Now I want to insert an image, so I'll go into the insert tab, click on the picture command and then we'll bring up the folder where I have my image. I have an image of a desert, so I'm going to click on that and click insert. And now the desert shows up, but it's kind of overriding everything. So I want to kind of adjust this now. I'm going to right click to send this to the back. And now it's kind of formatted already, so I didn't have to do too much adjustment. The difference between an image and the video, of course, is you don't do have to do as much editing because you don't have to, of course, loop it or have it start. I can just click on the slideshow view and now you can see that it looks like a desert that's popping out of the words. So that is how we create that effect with an image. So there you have it. That's how we would create video in text or the track mat effect and we can also do this with an image to have the image kind of show through text. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.